Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 26 of Start to Finish for Swakoden the First. I am your host, Matt Boyer. Megan is not joining us as she is trying to catch what I had yesterday and is relaxing on the couch right now with a crossword puzzle book so she is not ill. So instead, you guys are stuck with me screwing up recruitment, although Yellum has been super helpful and has a list of ways for me to do that without screwing stuff up. So, hey, let's get the show on the road. And the first thing we need to do is we need to get somebody up to a particular level. So let's get out of here and head back to the castle. And now the cat is sitting on the crossword puzzle. Oh, right, I'm outside. There's a cat on the crossword puzzle book. Megan informs me and she is no longer doing crossword puzzles. Cats. Uh, here's a question for people. Had, if I had Gremio carrying the blinking mirror and then Gremio got et, would I just not have the blinking mirror anymore forever? Because you guys mentioned that people could kind of, you know, take off out of your party and always keep that in Albed's inventory. And don't get me wrong, I am super grateful for that. But could that have happened? And if so, has the person responsible for that been fired? I feel like that is the correct course of action there. Megan brings up a good point. I am very good at going through the pockets of the dead. It is an RPG tradition. Okay, so... If you hadn't thought of it, Victor would have. Sorry, LePant. I'm going to tag you out. And now we're going to put in Kirkus. We need to level up Kirkus. I feel like that's probably a pretty good setup for the party, actually. Yeah. All right, so we need to go fight some stuff. So let's go do that. We've got Kirkus in the party. We gotta get Kirkus up to level 35 to recruit somebody. That, I just, okay, we're going to the wrong, I'm gonna open this Dr. Pepper. Um, and I have to, too many things. Help. Oh, there's, we can see outside. That's cool. All right, so we want to go here. Somebody told me to go here. All right. Oh, oh, hi. Hello. You have an orange cape. My job is cutting off the heads of criminals, but as you see, business has been slow lately. Uh, okay. Let's, why would I recruit this guy? I am going to, clearly. All I can do is cut off heads, that's all I know. Are you sure? Still recruit. You're a strange guy. All right then, I'll come along. I'll enjoy the sunlight for a change. All right, remember how I was commenting that I wish this game had this Wakoden 3 thing where you can uh, get intel on your party members and learn more about them? I no longer feel that way. So let's explore in here for a little bit. And there's the warrior's village. What? Okay. So this is happening. Oh, right. Um, you guys told me that casting hell is essentially deadly fingertips on a gigantic scale. So make sure you guys aren't lying to me because I don't understand why that would even happen. And send all these green Cerberi and go- yep, that's great. Awesome. And we are gaining some levels here. Okay, when Pond's gaining six levels in a new area and he was level 30, 32, I'm concerned. Heavens. All right, so one more of those, and Kirkus will be at level 35. <laughs> yep, actually, there he was. Great. Okay. 
do an actual legitimate battle. I'm gonna kinda... Alright. Let's see what these things can do. Yeah, I'm gonna cast Firestorm, because I don't cast magic too often. And we're just kinda here to... wander around a little bit. Oh, Kirkus needs to level up his weapon. I swear I have heard that... The sound that the fire makes, I've heard that before. That That is a stock sound effect that I am familiar with, but I cannot place where that's from. Alright, well that happened. Let's get out of here. Um, yep. So I'm also told that I can speak to Window with the Window Rune in my inventory to recruit him, and I don't know what that is. So, let's go to floor two and see if we can flip through inventories and see what that is. Like, do we have that? Uh, detach. So, okay, I can go through what everyone's got. Window setting. I mean, you guys probably don't mean window setting. Probably. Especially because I'm already carrying that and talked to her and nothing happened. And, okay, so I must not have that. But I think everywhere that I go and talk to... Hey, Ronnie. Um, let me go down a floor. Then those places are added to my shops down here. So if I've been to a shop that has it available, I would think I can go down here and just buy it. Because if I have to go find it from somebody, we are in a world of hurt. At least until someone tells me where it is. But since nobody's here, this stuff is not in any kind of order. Alright, we've not come across it yet. So I, I recognize a bunch of that stuff. Okay. Let's head back down to the basement and let's head out to the Kobold Village. Kobold Village, please. That's terrible. Uh, huh. That's not on here. Great Forest! Was it the Great Forest? Uh, yeah, that sounds familiar. Oh, I have to pass through here! But this will still get me there. It's not that much of a maze. Hello! Alright, this should just be... Hit dead. Hit dead. Hit dead. Sweet. We out. Five experience points. One of you guys wasn't even worth a single X XP. I should have gone to the other side. So that rune that turns off uh, attacks would have been a pretty good idea here, but eh, that's money. I don't really have a whole lot. That dude survived a hit. Let's take care of that. I imagine I could also just run from these battles and I probably will do that from here on out. Yep, later. And, no, I had to keep going down. This 
forest is really reminding me of Chrono Trigger. I may have mentioned that before. I've been in here a couple times. I'm going to talk some smack on Chrono Trigger for a second, which isn't something I normally do, but one of the things that game gets mentioned as being lauded for is the fact that, oh, it's got all these encounters on the map, you can see them. And that is a straight-up lie. There are enemies that drop on, on you out of the sky. So, I mean, for the lot, there that happens in some places, but doesn't in others, and I think it's kind of a, an unfair thing to... People tend to bring that up as going, and all these other games are straight garbage for not doing that. But, you know, it's a random counter by any other name. Where is this person? Alright. It's not you. Carcass! Aha! Ruby! Ruby's a dude. Okay. This game's doing this on purpose now. We were all born in this land. More people! More archers, I bet. Cool. Nice little moment there. Back out. Where are we going now? Hmm. Aha! I see what to do now. Gotta load up the party. Unfortunately, I've got just enough slots for you to do this. Excuse me, I need to change my party members. And I need to load up the worst joke this game has so far. Moss? Mies. Moose. Fantastic. All right, first floor. Stay at the inn. Go get Moose, or whatever his name was. I've already forgotten. Still don't know what a window rune is. And this was at... I don't know where this was at. Probably the Warrior's Village. Warrior's Village! I just ran into this dude. So, let's explore a little bit. See what we can find. Aha! We do have some work. Moss, moose. Moose. It, you haven't joined... No, you haven't joined yet. You... What is happening? I think they overdid their own joke. Sweet! I bet that is max level blacksmith. I bet I do not. God damn it. Yes, moose level blacksmith. Let's go with that. Oh. Outside of a town, I gotta get out of here and then head back. Assemble my main team. Uh, I can't remember if the pirate hideout, do I need those specific guys or not? Do I need Taiho for that, or do I feel like I do? I think I need Taiho and Yam Yamku, so I'm gonna put them in the party. Did Take... you almost call him Yamcha? I did not almost call him Yamcha. I was actually doing okay there. Because <laughs> if you want to recruit some Dragon Ball Z characters, I'm okay with that. The 108 star Dragon Ball. It'd be the best game. All right, change. What should you do with the next DBZ 
games and the Budokai fighting game nonsense. Just make one of these. I think they've made a Dragon Ball Z RPG before. You just have to, like, every tenth person to recruit is Vegeta. <laughs> you have to keep convincing him that he's a good guy. Okay, my top level attackers. I'm not gonna bring Kai. Top level attacker. Wow, Moose is actually a pretty hardy dude. Uh, definitely Pawn, he's at 218. Did I see someone up in the 190 range? Oh, actually, I don't, I don't know if I get to pick anymore at this point. I think I need to bring Taiho and Yamku. I think. We're gonna try it with them, because I've gotta do this in, again, it's a time limit. I might go level them up a little bit, since we are going to gain a whole ton of levels from fighting those guys. Oh, I went to the basement. I didn't mean to go to the basement. Actually, I do. Let's just go. I'll worry about um, gear and stuff when we get back. I wasn't really having trouble dying. I was having trouble getting through their hit points. So we just want to load up on power. And I've slept, so I've got my healing back. Alright, I've got my spells back. Let's get out of here. Fix that in a second. X strike. No. Oh. Holy crap! <laughs> I totally forgot about that. That was great. That was the boar rune. Okay, I haven't used that in a while. Awesome. Everyone's freaking out in my party. 36, 37. All right, you guys are actually pretty high in level already. So let me adjust that a bit. Attack, 186, 153, 218, 120. Yeah, definitely need to level up some weapons before we go though. Especially in those guys in the back. But I want to get another group of at least... Whoa! Sorcerer! It's a little scary. Never mind. Look at we just headshot fools. 26,000 is not a lot of money. Alright, this is a good... Good spot to use hell first. Alright. Kill these three and four enemies. I can count. Master robe. Okay. Whoa! Holy crap, Pond doesn't have any equipment on and he's doing all this. Dude, I am terrible. I'm really glad that I looked in here before we actually went into a battle. I'm a horrible person. Alright, well, Pond wear a robe. Auto recover HP. That sounds great. I'm guessing that is just regen per round. Oh, you guys can handle this on your own. I'd like Pond to level up one more time, and I'd like to hit 30,000 in case I need to spend a fair amount upgrading items. Here we go. This is exactly what I want.
Sweet. 38. 38. 37. Cool, let's get out of here. Give this team a shot at the pirate hideout. See if we can't recruit those guys. Well, let me work on, uh, well, no, let's get Pawn some armor. That's going to be more important, because I believe those guys can just extract every other round and, you know, whatever. Uh, Pawn can wear headgear. can wear toe shoes. Han can wear a gauntlet. It's pretty good. I didn't spend too much money and he's doing alright now. Yeah, defense 187. He's set. I'm glad that you guys were telling me to do all the leveling up for Han because... As part of doing that, I've become really attached to him. It's like, I want to make sure he's got some good gear. I want to make sure he can solo entire bosses. Hey, folks. Alright, so let's bump this up. Alright. That would be all my money, and obviously I can't even afford to do that. Go ahead and get this up to seven at least, and bump it up to eight on both sides. Sweet. Do we have any rune fragments to equip? I don't think we do. Ah, oh, we've got a root, an earth rune piece. Uh, here, Taiho. You show up a lot. That's it. All right. Well, let's save real quick. Let's go fight. Uh, let's go fight some pirates. This is a recruitment-heavy video. The save screen needs no soundtrack. All right. We've rested. To the basement. Pirate Fortress. Hello, let's fight. Fight! Leonardo and Kanak! Are we gonna get a Leonardo and a Leon? Alright, well, let's open up on this dude first. Black Shadow's gonna hit everything for actual damage. Let's fight. Dancing Flames and a Unite attack on him in the front. Hit him with everything! I think this does actual damage. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Ah. Oh, it's whatever. Man. You guys are a little hardy. Attacking, and you cast Dancing Flames again. We can do that a couple more times. Oh, that regen's terrible. Five hit points? That doesn't count. When you have 500? One down! Okay! I think we can do this.
Especially if we got the full squad back up. Alright, clone rune. Black shadow again. Boar rune. Dancing flames. Unite attack. That dude should go down this turn. And hopefully we won't be wasting all of our time not hitting the other guy. Oh, holy crap. One, one left. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're done! Join my party. We will drop more firestorms on you. Give me more than $1,800, too. You're so demanding. This seems to appear as a lesson. No, we're not interested. Whoa! <laughs> Character design in this game seems a little random. Angie! Leonardo! Kanak. Kanak is all lower jaw. And that's all we've got here. So, okay. That's a pretty good set of people. Well, let's all go head back real quick. Whee! Oh, this boat's great. This is more satisfying than teleporting. I feel like at one point I was complaining about having a slow boat. This is so much better. Yeah, I feel like we're, we're going to your house, man. It's a little weird. Got a monastery to go hit. Tomorrow. Ah, no, I'm... Oh, I didn't mean to go in here. So I need to go to the Fortress of Garan to recruit somebody that I might be able to recruit, according to Love Is All. So let's try that out. Yeah! Alright, there's a girl. Yeah, just Garan. Okay. I don't know. I live in a town where there is a Craig and a Craig Drive, and those are separate things. Hi, Quincy. Recruit! You have a few more. Okay. One more, okay, okay, we can find one more person. Okay. Oh. I either need to figure out what a window rune is, or I need to win a game. Let's go win a game. What? Oh, I'm not 40 yet, but I almost am. Yeah, 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 thank you. Oh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Warrior Village. Let's go outside. How close am I? Am I 38 or 39? 38. How close am I? Oh, oh 692. Alright, let's see how this goes. I also don't think I even have the money to do the uh, recruitment stuff yet. So I've got to be out here. Ooh. Clone. Attack. Clone. Or not clone. Whatever it is you do, I don't know. Unite! Stit. Oh, holy crap. Weak to fishermen. Oh, this is good XP. This ain't gonna be too bad at all. One more person. We're gonna get there, and it's gonna be, oh, you need to be level 45, and I'm going to throw this controller. I'm actually not, I don't have that many working PS3 controllers anymore, so I need to not actually do that. I feel like her air sword got mistranslated. She's using like a javelin or something. Because if we could get swords that just shot energy out of them, why do we have anything else in our party? Whip Wolf! Alright. Hell. Oh, I can cast Hell an extra time per day now. Sweet. Did you kill the privilege? Uh. 
No, that, that's off level enough. I, I, I killed some wit wolves. I killed some war wolves? War wolf. War wolf? I know nobody's gonna get that <laughs> Woo! Alright. A couple more of those. Wander down here and see what looks what the south looks like. Hello. I'm just going to let them handle this on their own. It looks like he wants to like set a volleyball. Oh, I can't waste my time on battles like that. That's barely any XP at all. That is a Necrolord castle. Yeah. I want to live there. You killed enough people for their powers. I just want to live there. I don't want to, like, become the Necrolord. I just want to move in. I do like that the uh, the Whip Wolf here and taking over, you know, a natural leader of people just like him is able to coordinate those into attacking together. That's that's a neat little detail. I like it when random encounters have something that makes them interesting. And that kind of mechanic where you're adding flavor to the enemies that you might otherwise encounter separately. I think that's pretty cool. Well, it's up here. That's probably the monastery. Oh, you guys can handle this in here. Second thought, free will, might not have been the best idea. Oh well. We'll hit a victory in a second. Good job! 557. We're getting there. Slowing down a little bit. Diminishing returns on these, uh, these fights. Uh. So, is that a robot? Or is that a go- because with his name is Gravemaster, is that a golem built out of gravestones? Because if so, that's the coolest thing I've seen yet. attack conventionally. Let's hit you. You do that. And you do that. Great! Go team! Oh! Alright. Well, that happened. 716. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm concerned that the fishermen are among my best fighters. Again, I spent some time in Scrum 3 fighting with a girl that had a puppet on her hand. What I'm saying is, a general goes to war with the army he's got. Mine is full of fisher puppets, and that's what we're doing. Alright, don't need to go in there. Almost there. Is it even worth my time? One hellhound, really? Eight hundred and two. Two hundred more XP. We're almost there. It's gonna be forty-five. Better not be forty-five. Please do not kill the person who needs to gain the XP. Thank you. 160 more. Uh, who's got just some standard medicine? You do.
Probably have them do the United attack. This is taking too long otherwise. Yeah, I'll do that next one. Make these go faster! There we go. Alright, I don't know if I what I have in the neighborhood of... Yep, I've got a casting of hell left. Everything's great. I still have a bit of hell up my sleeve. Ah, I've still got to do one more fight. 975. On the bright side, I'm up to 50,000 now. Got some cash. Alright, here we. This will do it. So, you do that down there. I am out of fancy spells. Let's use deadly fingertips. You are going to bore room the top. You are going to firestorm everything. I don't know who's going first. Somebody's gonna kill everything here. It's gonna be great. Hang in there, Pong. Firestorm! I feel like a door is just open on a spaceship somewhere. That's what that's making me think of. Woo! Level 40! Get me out of here. Done. Could not begin to tell you where he is, but we'll figure it out. So, that's one of these. Let's go to Ante. We'll start there. Well, it's not this one. Okay, but it was one of the ones on the coast. I think it was northeast coast. So let's go this way. Nope, not understood. Sorry, creeper vines. Another day, perhaps. Tan. I think this is it. Yes. Join my party. I am strong. You are indeed. I was waiting for someone like you. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> no punctuation or anything. And just cool. Later. Great. Let's uh. Top outside. Now we're in the boat. Use blinking mirror. Out. Go. Bring the boat into the basement. Sure, whatever. Teleport. Gren. You! Quincy! Recruit! Alright, I'm in. Nice! It's a lot of people today. Let's go find them all. Can't ruin this blade of grass. Item. Mirror. I still don't know why we have this. Wait to find out. We can put Jupo in there, that'd be alright. First of all, let's go look outside. Still just Klon. And Gen. Let's 
So let's go up floor by floor and look for some of our new folks. No one over here. I feel like the West Wings where all the excitement's been happening lately. Hello, sound test. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> like Alan, I am a person. All right. Ah! <laughs> she comes with some bloodlust and then looks at Grand Seal. <laughs> we are totally out. I was talking before, I didn't really know what I was doing. Hello! Change window sound. Well, I got the one. Oh. Sure. Kai might be carrying something. That's right, Millic has his own music. Nice. Oh, well, you guys already done a lot of work. Really appreciate it. I feel like he's just set up here. He's like he's in a boss fight room. He either gets to have one or be one. He's set. And that's all there is here. So we can go north on this next screen with our normal music. Holy crap! Hi, folks! I haven't stepped on them today. Are you here to help with the harvest? Is that gonna help you cut heads off things? That'd be alright. Hi, Lorelai. That's a good one. Uh, cutting the dead heads off of a rose bush, right? Yes. Ha ha! Nope. <laughs> he's got one joke, but damn it, he's seen it all the way through to the end. Hi. Sure. Yeah, I need to put you guys in my party soon and uh, see what your uh, triple tech is. Your fortress is one room. You live in a New York studio apartment in the middle of the ocean. Marcus about that life. All right, that side's pretty fun. Let's go over to the right. You know, if you're gonna give me chefs, give me a kitchen. I'm, st I'm, I want a kitchen. That was really cool in Spokane Three. Hey, folks. Uh oh. Let's go hide down here. Kill you, kid. <laughs> hey, Meg. I see he's hiding in the basement from you. No, she's hiding in the tower of the town. Someone's hiding from someone. Also, what are these guys doing in the room? This isn't my room. This is, uh, this is a pants room. Okay. I don't know what, uh, Kunto is doing in there. Giving everybody the shifty side eye. And making me be real careful when I pronounce his name. Alright, let's go up to floor number two. See who we've got. I know you. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hi, folks. Fight this dude. Smooches! See? Puppies just want smooches. 
Either that or they're getting their heads knocked together by Hulk Hogan there. Floor three. I've forgotten the name of my elevator guy. Sergey! Hi, Sergey. Bye, Sergey. You don't look at all like your, uh, your profile picture. No one's gonna date you on the internet. Everyone's gonna date this dude on the internet. Crap! Ah! <laughs> I'm never speaking to you again! I know that dude, I know that dude. Yup. 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 And, alright, floor number four. Um... Let's, I don't know if it's gonna, let's see if it does give me a total. Uh, hey everyone, Brad Grant just logged off. Uh, okay, <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, okay. So, yeah, probably. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 26! Wow. Man. I feel like we're, uh, we're making good progress. Yeah, well, we recruit a failure. Yep. Yep. Hey, you're actually in here today. Nah, I'm good. Yep. They're a little more one note in this one than they are in later games, which I'm not exactly holding against them. Like, I'm, I'm really excited to see Apple, but she hasn't done a damn thing. That's kind of a bummer. That'd be pretty great. All right, well, let's save out. Uh, 48 minutes recruitment, exploring the castle. This is a good time. We got a lot done today. And there's Camille. I'm still confused that every now and then Camille shows up in like actual story scenes. <laughs> As opposed to, hey. I'm just here to make Victor pay me. All right, well, uh, that's today. Tomorrow. Maybe we'll do something? Tomorrow I might try and recruit Marco, because I have to win a gambling game for that, and it's not as- this isn't as much fun as the, uh, the lottery was in Sukoden 3. Tune in for when we finish Sukoden 2 and we play Sukoden 3 again, but when I play- when I mean play Sukoden 3 again, I mean Matt just plays the lottery and investigates people for 85 hours. I'm probably lying. Probably. <laughs>